In this video, I want to show you how I organize my tasks, how to get as much done efficiently as possible. So I always talk about using the project boards on GitHub and you can see behind me, I have my project board. I have my notes, I have to do in progress, editing stroke review and done. It all looks pretty familiar to you. But one thing you probably don't know that I do, and I could probably highlight it a lot better, but my columns have limits. So for example, the in progress column has a limit of one. That means I can only ever have one thing on the go at any one time. And that forces me to focus on that one thing. Also, my editing and review has a limit of two. And the reason for that is, that has more value in that column than in progress or to do because it's closer to being done. Have you ever heard of the expression definition of done? My definition of done is published live on the internet. If I'm doing a video, for example, if I've recorded 10 videos, but they're not out there on the internet, I practically haven't recorded anything because they're, they're useless. The value is when I put them publicly on the internet. So my goal is to get them on the internet live. So I need to work backwards. So in my editing stroke review column, I need to put all my effort before the stuff that's in progress. The priority is on the right side so I can get it over to the done column. And then I know I'm adding value to the community and what I've created and the effort I've put in is adding value to the community, adding value to my personal branding, you know, all that good stuff. The next is the in progress. That's what I'll focus on next. Not the to do, not this great idea that I probably want to start on. And that does happen. I do get the idea. I think, oh, wow. And if that's the case, I can change my order of priority on the to do. But once I've started something in progress, I have already invested a lot of time in planning it. I usually like to try and finish it. If I'm really not keen on what I'm working on, I might shorten it. I might cut my losses, but it is very rare. I might just make it a bit shorter and definitely get it out there and get it into the column of done as soon as possible. So my biggest recommendation to you is if you are struggling to manage your time with procrastination, with distractions, with starting too many things, it happens to me all the time. So I do get that. Try and only start one thing at any one time and get it to the done column, whatever that means to you. But make sure you get it to done before starting something else. Another thing you can do is break things down. So sometimes I think of these awesome, well, I think they're awesome, video ideas, but they kind of grow and they get quite big. What I think works really well is trying to break it down. Can I do that into two videos or three videos, part one, two, and three? Or could they be completely, completely separated and so they're independent videos it's just my idea got a bit carried away with me and a bit long maybe I could do it into three different sections and I've done that before I have got some git playlists uh, and they are doing very well the videos in that playlist are doing quite well for example how to clone a repo kind of two minute video really really short how to keep your fork up to date using git remotes again a two three four minute video really short and focused rather than trying to do a 10 15 minute video that is a lot more involved a lot more for people to watch so I am trying out different things but the more I can get things out there the better so I'm trying to make my content and videos a lot shorter let me know what you think in the comments below while you're down there give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I go live and post a video I look forward to keeping out with you in the Eddie Hub discord see you there